Wonderful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so let's check the vibe for Virgo. See what messages we have for you. This will not resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart. Uh, I can get these in here. And uh, yeah, if you like my vibe, please hit that subscribe button, okay, for your girl. All right, so let's see. There we go. I can get everything together. All right, let's see. What messages do we have for Virgo? Virgo. Look, uh, this is definitely not going to be for everybody. Um, someone here might be getting an opportunity for a supervisor role, boss, to be a boss, okay? A contract here. Absolutely. There's a lot of competition going on here before this position as well so just be mindful that you are being looked at and considered for a position you may have applied for this position or it may be something that someone is uh just you know they you know appreciate your worth ethic and they're considering you for a candidate for a position okay yeah the emperor the five of wands and the hierophant okay so there's something here this is not for everybody, like I said. But there's there's other people being considered as well. So be mindful of your actions. Um, be on your ish when it comes to your work performance and things like that, okay? Because this really matters at this point in time because there's at least four or five other people that are being considered for this position as you are. However, you um, stand out. Yeah. What did I say? Somebody wants to make you some type of offer. This is actually going to benefit you very well, okay? This is actually going to be an increase in your pinnacles. Hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Also, some of you have a brand new beginning in love, something stable. Huh. The lovers, two of cups, ace of pentacles. Something very grounded and stable. Okay, let's see. What is this? No, we don't want that. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Give me one more, please. for two more. Okay, you got somebody coming in really slow. Moving in on you. <laughs> Wanting something really stable. Okay, this person is coming in. They've been watching you for a minute. Okay, they want something stable with you. This is person is no nonsense. When they come in, they, they when they make an offer, this person knows what they want, okay? They're coming in to invest, to to grow. This person is coming in to plant roots. They're they're not they're not intending on leaving this situation, okay? This this person is talking about forever, ever, forever, ever. Yeah, that. Okay. This person has thought about this situation too. See, you have been watched. You're being watched. Okay, look, this is two different scenarios here. You have um, a connection coming through. There's a decision that you have to make, several decisions you have to make. You have a decision to make about an offer that's getting ready to come through about a position, okay? 
All right, a supervisor position, a position that is actually going to put you um, pretty, pretty good when it comes to the tax bracket. You're going to be okay, stable, okay? There's a lot of people fighting for this position, like I said. I do believe this is going to be something long-term as well, something stable. Um, hmm. You also have someone coming in that wants to offer you a relationship. This two of cups to lovers. Okay. This is someone that has been around you for a while. They want to come in and they want to invest in a relationship with you. Okay. You have the lovers sitting over here too. The lovers. Wow. What is this? Ooh. You have somebody that's really determined to come in. Yeah, this person definitely wants forward movement with you. Mm. Okay, so you have, looks like stable money and stable relationship coming in. Mm. Curious. So you're walking away from one aspect of your life to another. Let's see. Walking away from opportunities that did not work out into abundance. Emperor, Empress on the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Come on. Get the messages. Back. Trying to make a decision. Stand near ground. Making a decision. You have multiple opportunities coming towards you. Multiple opportunities coming towards you, but you're standing your ground, being smart, thinking about it, waiting to see what other opportunities come forward. There's cycles closing out, so there's endings, meaning new beginnings, decisions that have to be made. Do I stay stuck doing the same thing, or do I travel down a new world, a new road, new opportunities? Go for new opportunities, something new. Yeah, something unexpected is about to happen. You're going to be in your head about this situation when you find out. You're moving forward, though. This is going to lead you to abundance. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of bickering, fighting, arguing behind you. Because, you know what, let me tell you something. Somebody is about to get blessed with a position, and there's going to be some people that you work closely with, possibly the same position. When they find out that you are up for this position, you're going to have a lot of people that have a lot of ish to say. Why are they getting it? They were only here for this long. This person don't, you, you, you feel me? You got a lot of stuff going on. There's a tower coming. You're going to see things from a brand new light, okay? Meditate, contemplate on this situation. Choose wisely, okay? I'm, I'm telling you, when you get offered this situation here, you're going to have to guard yourself from a lot of people, a lot of naysayers, a lot of negativity. Don't let that affect you, okay? You're going to have to bring down the tower on a lot of people. You may have to isolate yourself from some, from some folks, you know what I'm saying, in order to have this abundance, all right? Don't trip. What's for you is for you, not for anybody else. They Let them keep fighting and have drama on the side. You you come from amongst them, okay? Give me more on the Hierophant here. What did I tell you? Hierophant, sweetheart, you have brand new beginnings. Keep your emotions in check. Don't don't bite. Don't don't trip off of this stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Keep it at bay. You understand? No nonsense at any at all costs. Because the thing is, you're gonna have to have this type of attitude anyway to step into this this role. You understand? No nonsense. Don't bring me no bad news. I'm just saying. You have brand new beginnings here. Brand new contracts. Brand new offers coming towards you. All right? You got naysayers, though. Hmm. 
three king of pentacles. All right. There's going to be some things that you're going to have to cut off. There's going to be some things that you find out about some people, some things that you're going to hear. Some things are going to be revealed when you step up into this position. When you get offered this, you're going to find out a whole bunch of things that people were saying behind the scenes and all that. Like I said, it doesn't work. Don't worry about it. Keep it moving. It may break your heart, but sweetheart, you got wish fulfillment coming for you. Okay? Not only that, people are pissed off because you are the star. They see this abundance that you're getting. Understand? My thing is, instead of working with you, these people people are working against you. What they fail to realize is that you have been given a hand up. You work for this. What you can do is reach back and grab somebody else and pull them up. But what they'd rather do, they'd rather come at you and attack you. They'd rather sit there and belittle you. You understand? Be in competition with you. Bring you down. Try to break you down. But no, 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 no. Like I said, what's going to happen is this tower is going to fall. Keep to yourself, abundance is yours, okay? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are being divinely guided to new beginnings here, okay? It's like I said, it's going to break your heart when some of this stuff comes to light, but don't worry about it because you're going to be sitting pretty. Sitting pretty, your foundation is going to be cool. So therefore, when your foundation is straight, you're able to do things for other people, bring them in, like I said. You could easily reach back and grab somebody up, but their mouths are running negatively. And that's what people do, unfortunately. But that lets you know their character. Hmm. Let them talk. Let them keep talking. You find out who your friends and who your foes are. All right? Especially when you get blessed. Don't trip. See, look. Somebody is not seeing a victory here. Somebody is not seeing a victory here. Why? What's going on here? What's going on here? Somebody is not seeing a victory. Come on. What's going on? Give me more. Yeah, you don't see a victory here with this situation. Why? Why not? Why not? With this... With this union you have coming up, why not? Four of Wands. King of Cups. Somebody's not expressing their feelings here for one. Somebody is keeping it to themselves. Okay, so somebody's coming at you very slowly. Okay, so you don't have all the information or you don't know. Okay, someone here might be too controlling a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, but there's going to be some type of clarity. Okay, someone doesn't know that this person is coming towards them yet. Is that what it is? Or you don't know all the information, so you feel like this might not work out. I don't know. What is this? Indecisive. You had you don't have all the information. Someone is holding back from their feelings. Give me more. What did I say? Somebody wants to get to the situation, but somebody's guarding. They're holding back. Somebody's holding back. They're indecisive. They're not sure if this is gonna work out. When this king, when this knight of pentacles come towards you, you might be a bit hesitant because you're not sure. Indecisive. Okay. You have the Two of Cups on the Two of Cups, the Two of Swords and the Six of uh, Swords, I mean, Six of Wands in reverse, okay? With this Nine of Wands, somebody's guarded, hurt from the past, from past things, focusing on work, making your career your priority, but when this love comes in, it's like a shock. You don't know what to do. Guard it. Look, lovers. From past wounds, but I see something stable coming in for you. Somebody that wants to get to this situation. Somebody is serious. This stable. Let's see. See, somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck, afraid they're gonna get left out in the cold. Abandoned. Somebody has abandonment issues. They need to heal from some past stuff. When this person comes in, you're not gonna know what to do. Come on. Two more. Somebody wants to heal a mood of calmer waters, but okay. 
somebody's coming in. They want to they want to express some feelings for you. They know your heart is broken. This person, somebody's going to come in and reveal that they have a lot of love for you. This person is going to tell you that they want to take action. This person is coming in as knights. They're coming in as knights. This person wants, wants I was going to say good times with you. <laughs> yeah, this, this person, um, they want to make you happy. They want to help heal your heart. This person knows that you're hurt. This Knight of Cups landed way over here on this Three of Swords and the Moon. This person, yeah, they want for a movement. They want to offer you something stable. I'm telling you. Give me more on the Eight of Cups over here, please. High Priestess. This person knows you're very intuitive. This person wants to get to the situation. They want to bring balance. This person possibly knows that you're afraid of them not giving fully to the situation. They want to bring balance. Yeah, they want to bring balance. Let's see. All right, let's see. What's the outcome here? I ain't got nosy. 16 minutes all up in your business. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, somebody is going to get out of their head about this situation, about this contract, okay? This commitment, this new beginnings, the new beginnings with the S, this new perspective. Okay, so you're looking at everything from a new perspective. You're going to get unstuck. All right, what else? Okay. Making decisions, judging it. Still juggling on decisions, but there is going to be a good outcome here. I think you're going to bring balance into this situation. Use logic, head over heart. You know what I mean? Kind of balance the situation out. Yeah, I think it's going to come out good. Yes. I'm going to make some good decisions here. It's going to lead. It's going to lead to stability. Hmm. Grounded. Abundance. No longer indecisive. Yeah, I think you're going to figure out what it is that you want. And you're going to go for it. Taking this leap of faith in the right direction. Moving forward. Communicating with this person as well. Telling them what you want. And also compromise. Move into calmer waters. All right. Healing from the past. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, there's that. That was pretty deep. All right, so anywho, I don't even know what to call this this one. Um, I don't know what to call it. Okay, so anywho, with the monology, you have expect powerful change. I would say so. I would definitely say so. You have definitely forward movement. I do see a wheel turning in your life. Okay, matter of fact, here it is. All right, so there's some endings definitely happening here and some brand new beginnings happening here, okay? So, yeah, there's that. And it says luck is on your side. Nothing is yet set in stone. So, um, I do believe if this is not happening right now, um, it will be pretty soon. Emotions, your emotions might be kind of all over the place right now, but I'm telling you, Wusa. Okay, it may seem a bit turbulent right now. Just um, take some time out, breathe out, and meditate on this situation. Look at some of this stuff and ask for help. Okay, because you got a, you, you got a lot going on and a lot of decisions, life-altering decisions here, okay? All right, and the answers you need are coming. So like I said, um, if there's any confusion or anything like that and you need clarity, ask the divine for, you know, for help, okay? Let's see. What else? All right, what else here? Use your intuition in this situation. All right, heal your heart. You got heart chakra here. There is some, some need for closure and healing from the past here. And, um, yeah, I understand boundaries here, but um, you need to kind of let your guard down so that, because uh, there's some things stopping you from moving forward because you, you're, you're scared, afraid of being hurt. I get it. I get it. 
But sweetheart, you got brand new beginnings here, okay? The world is here. It's time to meet, it's time to move forward from this, okay? Let's see. Yeah, transformation, change. Cycles are closed, all right? So it's time to heal that heart chakra and move forward, okay? In spite of the obstacles and challenges, when you get to them, pray about it, meditate about it, ask for help and guidance to get through it, okay? Just know that these new beginnings are coming for you and things are looking good. They're looking good. The thing is, is that it's just tough that while you're going through the transformation, it's like, my God, why do I have to go through all this mess? But then once you get through it, you realize, you know what? If I didn't go through all this, I wouldn't appreciate where I am. Although, I still feel like <laughs> I could have learned some lessons without going through all of mm, all of that stuff. But, you know, sometimes we create our own mess, too. So, yeah, there's that. All right. The key is not to repeat it, okay? All right, so let's see. What messages do we have? All right, your person is struggling, needs your compassion and understanding at this time. Okay. And then we have, oh, be aware of people and circumstances in your way that serve as a test of your will. As you are, retest, uh, as you are tested, remain in high vibration to show the world how bright you shine. Also, um, even though someone here may be struggling, don't um, throw your own life jacket out there to save this person, okay? And you end up drowning in the process. In other words, you know, don't be so lenient with this person where you're being too open and too giving with this person and they're not appreciative of your efforts and you end up emotionally bankrupt, okay? So yeah, there's that. And I think I'll get you an affirmation and then I'll get up out of here. Okay, well, maybe two. All right, I accept myself exactly how I am right now. I accept all the tools, skills, and talents that I may possess. All right, cool. Love that. Love yourself for who you are. Everything within you and everything that you will install in you, okay, later on in life. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly, and deal with it all. You know what I mean? That's all of us in a nutshell. All right, and it says, I released all of my negative beliefs about money. I attract wealth daily. Amen to that. Okay. Well, I'm going to put it to you like this. Wealth is not just necessarily money. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have your health, sweetheart, you don't have nothing. So I'll take health over money any day, but money does sound good. You know, I mean, I'm just saying it compliments everything. So there's that. Okay. So yeah, um, just remember that you are what you attract. So attract positivity into your life and uh, cut out negativity and be a good person to other people because it matters. Okay. All right. Thank you for rocking with your girl. You guys take care. Bye.